Hey everyone, this is Ms. Jacobson. In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the constant of proportionality of a proportional graph. All right, so in this first question, it says, based on the graph, uh, what is the constant of proportionality? So remember, when we have a proportional graph, the constant of proportionality is that number that we can multiply our x variable by to get to our y variable. And in this case, this graph is talking about the water used based on time, which is going to be our x variable, um, and the water, uh, the amount of water used is going to be our y variable. Um, so one of the easiest ways to find the constant of proportionality is to try to find um, what number I can multiply the x value by to get to the y value. And um, a really good way to do this is to set up a table. And so if I have that, I'm going to start by looking at um, well, we can start with zero um, because we know if zero minutes have passed, zero gallons of water have been used. So zero, zero is going to be the first value in my table. Um, then we can look at the next uh, the value and they kind of point out what the values are. So if one minute has passed, then five gallons of water has been used. Okay, so just looking at the, just looking at the graph and what those points represent. If Let's see, if two minutes have passed, then 10 gallons have been used. We're kind of trying to look at this table and try to find a pattern. Um, if I go to the next one, if three minutes have passed, then 15 gallons have been used. Um, and we can continue this on. Um, they do give us some additional points up here. So if, if seven minutes have have passed, then 35 gallons have been used. And so remember, when we're looking for the constant of proportionality, I want to look for um, a number that I can multiply by x to get to the y. So I'm looking for this k value right here. So um, what could I multiply by, what could I multiply 1 by to get to 5? What could I multiply 2 by to get to 10? What could I multiply 3 by to get to 15? 7 by to get to 35? Um, and if you just think about that for a moment, you can probably figure out that that k value has to be 5. y equals 5 times x. And so my, my constant of proportionality would be, okay, my k value has to be 5 in this case. All right, so the next question says, based on the graph, what is the constant of proportionality? So remember that constant of proportionality, we can figure out if we look at the y equals k times x, that k value is going to be our constant of proportionality. So that number that we multiply the x value by to get to the y value is our constant of proportionality. Um, so if we look at this graph, this graph is representing the hiking distance that somebody can hike. The x value is the time in hours. The y value is the distance in miles. And um, the best route, again, might be to, to really inspect those points that were given in the form of a table. Because this is a proportional graph, we know that um, 0, 0 can be the first entry on the table. Um, obviously, 0 times anything is going to equal 0. So that entry doesn't really help us to figure out what the constant of proportionality is, but we'll continue on. The next point that we're given is right here. So this point is 5, and then it lines up between the 4 and the 8. Halfway between there would be 6, so it's going to be 5, 6. Um, the next point that we're given is 10, 12. Okay, the next point that we're given is 15. Halfway between 16 and 20 is going to be 18. And so in this case, it's a little bit more difficult to see what the number I would multiply, for instance, what would I multiply, what would I multiply 5 by to get to 6? It's not going to be a whole number. And so if that is um, a little bit more difficult to figure out, remember that, that our y equals kx, we can convert that so that k, so that k equals y over x. So if we add a column onto our table that's just y over x, um, we can we can figure this out using that column. So we're going to put the y value on top, the, um, the x value on the bottom and form a ratio. I'm going to skip the 0, 0 column because that would just be 0 over 0. Um, so the next one I would have is 
The y value is 6, the x value is 5, so it's going to be 6 fifths. Okay? The next one I have is 12 over 10, so it's going to be 12 over 10. Reduce it, I get 6 fifths again. Okay, the next one I would have is 18 over 15. 18 over 15, and reduce it, and I get, again, I get 6 fifths. Every time I reduce it, I end up with the same ratio. And so if you just think about this for a moment, if I take, if I take, let's just go 5, 6, if I take 5 times 6 fifths, I am going to get 6. Um, the difference here is, is that I'm ending up with a constant of proportionality that is, um, that is a, that is a rational number. Okay, so my constant of proportionality in this case, my, my k value is going to be 6 fifths. Okay, so if it's not really clear what it is, if you just, if you set up your table and it's not really clear what you will multiply x by to get to y, then the best suggestion I would have is create that last column, the y over x column, because that will help you to calculate your constant of proportionality. Alright, please let me know if you have any questions and I hope you have a great day.